Give me a look at that t-shirt. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. How, How are you, you? Leishman? I'm doing good. Nice. Um, so, to start, sorry if you've heard this multiple times today, but I grew up on movies like Cool Runnings, and so this movie feels like kind of fitting in that, like, missing gap that we've had where, like, we haven't had sports comedy movies like we used to back in, like, the 80s and the 90s and things like that. And so for you, Taika, how did it feel to kind of like tackle a new genre that which is like a sports movie, but getting to fall back on comedy, which you do know so well? Um, well, I, I, I'm the same as you. I grew up on all those films and yeah, uplifting underdog stories. Um, cool Runnings was definitely a touchstone. And I, when making this, like it, it was hard for me because I just wanted to include all of those, uh, you know, those, those old... Um, elements of sports films that I loved so much. I think even in the end of the film, um, there's a freeze frame. Like, you know, like at the end of Karate Kid. Like, you know, there's that like, <laughs> freeze frame. And, um, and so those, those things were important to me because like, my main focus making this film was to just was to be happy. So the theme of the film as well is to, i just come off, um, I think it was, this is maybe my sixth, seventh film, sixth film. And, um, and I just like finished Thor and Jojo, and I wanted to do something that felt just like you know I was, and I, I approached those films in a, in a more rigid kind of way, I'd say, and and I just felt like at the stage I was like trying to embrace this idea of not trying to control everything around me and just trying to let mm -hmm. go, which is you know what Thomas needs to do in the film is like just mm -hmm. let go and just be here mm -hmm. in the moment and um. You know, and, and somehow work that into a sports film. I, I, I always loved sports films, but I never had any intention of making one until I saw the doc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Jaya, this is really your story. It's as much as it is a sports movie, it is your story, and it's so sweet, and it's the heart of it. And so, for you, what is it like, kind of getting to see that, like, in the midst of this? You know, it's a football story. Mm -hmm. It's about you, and like, without that heart of it, it, it is, you know. It's another football story, but it is, it, it's yours. Yeah. When I first saw it, um, <clears throat> I was honored that Taika was gener generous to give um, Kaimana, who was playing Jaya, a much bigger role than she actually did in the actual story. So um, <laughs> um, that stood out to me, and um, I felt um, like he noticed an important character that with a story that needed to be told and with an audience that, especially at the climate, the social climate now, um, this kind of story needs to be told with this kind of character. And, and I thought that was important, but also um, Taika and the writers did a really beautiful job in capturing the sensitivities of the Fafafine identity, but also the harsh realities that transgender people face and, and uh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I think this movie is, is a perfect little addition to that sports comedy genre that I, I do miss very dearly. So thank you guys so much for talking with me today. Thank you. Well, yeah. Thank you, my friend. I'm glad that says, can we talk why did it not give me Chris whoever? <laughs> 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 yeah, we're done with them. Thank you guys so much for talking with me. I really appreciate Bye it. Bye, Doug. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye.